Hello, welcome back to another video on the channel. And I gotta say, I'm pretty amazed or impressed that the um, episode on Dr. Phil where these um, two guys are like, you know, they want clown. They, 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 they think they're... I think they're famous and loaded with all this cash, and they think they have the most help, most wealthiest life. Indeed, it's all a bunch of lies, but you've seen uh, Optimus, you've seen his reaction to that video, and... The, these two losers, I should say, are, like, really pathetic in the way, because, uh, uh, I got some good, some bad news for you. The more you, the more you keep on trying to make viral videos that go viral, and, you know, think you're gonna end up having, um, <coughs> um, um, getting clout like that, there's a catch to that. You try breaking the law just to get clout and that stuff, and I'll assure you, you will get arrested for this stuff. I mean, who the heck wants to do this kind of crap just for clout? <coughs> Now, I found that a real definition for clout, and it means <laughs> be influenced and have lots of power. <laughs> now, I gotta say, the definition of clout The way I see it, and I look back at that episode that was played on Dr. Phil yesterday. I look at that definition of clout as in people like to, you know, use clout for, um, for like, you know, bad reasons. Now, the episodes that are played on Dr. Phil, like, Dr. Phil deals with a lot of psychos, but the episodes that play on Dr. Phil can sometimes be re repeats. It depends on what television provider you have. Like, I know DirecTV does repeats of shows that have been, like, you know, shown for the morning. <coughs> but let's, uh, go ahead and talk about what... Let's go ahead and talk about the consequence of... of... You know, trying to get clout for these very, very negative reasons. You know that you are so going to get arrested <coughs> for... If you think you can go and, you know, trash stores or... You know, whatever. And that stuff. Think again. Because. If all you ever want to do is, you know. Be a. Uh, if all you ever want to do is be, become a loser. Um. 
I got something to say for you. Good, good luck with that. Because, you know, once you, um, once you start going to, like, a store, for example, and you start trashing the place like it's yours, and you're making videos of you doing it and that stuff, trying to get some, some major clout out of that, Uh, uh, just a reminder for you people that as soon as you start, you know, going on your, um, clout power trip, um, the next thing that's going to happen is you probably get the cops called on you. Because what you're doing is illegal. And most of the people that, you know, do all these viral stuff, make all these viral videos... <laughs> uh, pretty much opening the doors up to where they live their life as a loser. And worse than that, you'll be opening up a door to where you'll be known as an outlaw to the rest of the city. Or your state. So, uh... Yeah, it's not very pretty. If I really wanted to, you know... If I really wanted to be doing something... For clout... It's gonna be... Something that is... You know, not... Illegal and outlawed. Okay... I wouldn't even, you know, go up to a Walmart or Wegman and start just taking stuff off the shelves and, you know, drinking all of their two-liter two liter beverages and, you know, you know, making myself fat. And then I title the video, uh, this, let's just... Skinny guy, uh, becomes, um, skit, I would title it, Skinny Guy Rex Wegmans, and drinks two liter, all the two liter beverages and that stuff, just to get fat, and then I make a video of that. Okay, what's the first thing that I could expect? When I am doing that. The first thing that if I were, you know, if I were using my head correctly at the time that I was wrecking the shelves at Whiteman's, I'm saying I didn't really do that. I'm just making an example. But let's say I didn't even use my head while I was going into Whiteman's and I started wrecking everything off the shelves. And started drinking all the two liter beverages. Maybe I would have helped myself to the bakery without even paying for it. I could have maybe like stuffed all the donuts down my sweatshirt pockets. Which is obviously the, a very illegal thing to do. Let's just say I have fun going into Wegmans, wrecking the shelf and... Um, you know, eating everything that they had there. And I would get myself to be about like, you know, maybe 400 pounds. Something like that, which obviously I am not dying to actually get fat because I know being fat is uh, a terrible thing. And let's just say... That after I gun, got done with doing all that destruction and, you know, I, uh, oh, who knows? I might have not been able to get done with wrecking that store and that stuff because I'm sure I have would have been spotted in Wegmans wrecking all the shelves and that stuff and I would have got security called on me and I would have got hauled out of there. And then the next thing you know, I would be going to jail, and I would be, you know, 
named as an outlaw, and I'd probably be named as the most wanted. <clears throat> but, yeah, you see my point. My point is, if I was going to do something viral, and make a viral vid just to get clout and that stuff, you gotta have, you're you're gonna have a second. <clears throat> you gotta have a. You gotta see what's going to happen. Sheesh! I wonder what happens if I do this. I wonder what happens if I go and trash the my neighborhood Wegman store, which I don't really have a Wegmans here, but. I'm just using Wegmans as an example for, okay, Wegmans is the most, um, is a really big store. It's, like, bigger than Walmart. And I was using that as a store where they have a bunch of different items that you can get there. You can get you can get those red lobster muffins, which I'm sure a lot of people love those. You could get <clears throat> they have a lot of stuff, and they even have a lot of food samples that you could actually, you know, try over there. They even have a cafe over there that you can eat at. I mean, Whiteman's is really huge. <laughs> so, let's say if I were done with all my destruction in Wegman, I got myself fat, I did all the destruction that I needed to have a viral video put on YouTube, which I'm probably sure I would get myself millions of views by doing something stupid like that. And the next thing that I would probably expect would be to walk out of the Wegmans with the store being destroyed by me and then thinking I'm never going to get caught. That's the problem with people who are so clouded up. They think that they could do something so, like, so viral and making videos and that stuff and then they think that they're not going to get, they're not going to get caught by the police because they are, like, when, when someone gets so clouded up, they think they, they have all the power in the world. They they get they think they get all the attention that they want, and then they, they think they're unstoppable when they're so clouded up. But, mark my words. No one's ever above the law. Okay? No one's ever above the law. And the second dude that was sitting on Dr. Phil was, uh... Um, his description said that he's been bullied online a lot. I haven't read the rest of the description, but I could tell that this kid was probably also making viral videos. And, you know, uploading them and that stuff. I'm pretty sure that the, um, that the moron who, um, you know, received millions of, uh, of negative threatful comments and that stuff uh is probably um not enjoying his life too much but he doesn't care he's not gonna care because he's so clouded up and they won't even think about um what you know what's happening to them they just don't care they don't care because they're so clouded up and like um Uh, say for example, somebody makes a video where they, you know, like, do something really, really stupid, like, you know, go jump off of, uh, the Golden Gate Bridge in California if you lived in California, and let's say you wanted to make a video where you, you know, jump off of the Golden Gate Bridge and... Who knows how many feet that thing is. And then 
But say you, uh, you, uh, you take the phone and you record yourself, uh, jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge, and let's say you land and you injure your foot really bad, or even break it, and then you go post that onto YouTube. Okay, first off, yeah, you're going to get millions of views because a lot of people love to see you try to commit suicide. Which is a very um, negative way to be getting clout. Because the next thing, everybody would probably be like, what the heck happened to you? Why did you do that? That was so stupid. Why would you go jump off the Golden Gate Bridge just to get clout? And the next thing you know, and you're probably not even going to have uh, time to actually get back to uploading that video. Because your hands are probably very, very injured from that jump. And you probably would have smashed your phone anyway. Which, you weren't even going to chance to upload it because you or were like, you know... You're not wise enough to think that huh, if I jump off this bridge with my phone and that stuff, is it going to actually, like, you know, crack and, you know, be all right? It, it has a phone case, so, uh, yeah, it should be able to take that um, hit. And let's say that the Golden Gate Bridge was probably, like, six feet. Let's say you're being the darest daredevil that, you know, is... Thinking that they can survive a six feet jump off the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, personally, I don't know how large the Golden Gate Bridge is. I mean, it's large, but I don't know how many feet it is. Like, how high up it is. It, I obviously haven't visited California, so I would not know. But... I'm just going to say it's probably many feet up. Here's something to remember, people, when you want to be getting clout. Uh, I would suggest do it in a legal way, okay? I've seen videos of, uh, from, uh, Optimus where, uh, a guy disrespects Graveyard for clout, Spongebob Bandit strikes Walmart, uh, four losers go into Walmart and start wrecking the shelves and drinking all the... Two liter beverages that they want. And then, you know, go to the bike section of Walmart and, you know, just start riding around s squares in the aisles. Attracting attention from the customers that are shopping. And then eventually the guys get the cops called on them because, well, they're, the four of those kids are just being a bunch of idiots. And it was recorded. And I'm probably sure the video's got many views put onto it. It is literally stupid. Do, do do people even have a brain before they go off and just do stupid crap like this? Or are you so clouded up that you just don't even care um, that you're being a filthy dirtbag right now? Like, do you even care? Now, obviously, in your head, your answer is no. No, I don't care. It's clout that I want, so I'm going to do whatever dang legal thing that it is to actually get the clout that I need to make the viral video that I want to upload. Right? I mean, yeah, nobody gives a crap about that. Nobody gives a crap about that. I, You see millions of millions of people who will do anything to get their hands on that clout 
that they so badly want on social media. And it's just... It's just, um... It's just bad. I just gotta say it's bad. Now once you start walking into a store... And you start wrecking the shelves and that stuff... You're opening the door to becoming like a loser outlaw. I mean, think twice before you're doing that because, you know, once you start, once you start your, um, uh, clout war on the store or whatever it is, you go disrespect graveyards if you're idiotic enough to actually do something like that, or you break into the bank with a a sap or taped around it, the cord cut off, and then try to rob the bank that way with a fake gun like that law-breaking Mexican had done, which surely he'd spent his, is spending his time in jail from the crime that he committed a few years ago. And he was probably doing it for clout. And the word clout, like I just mentioned earlier, can mean you want fame and power. And that's exactly what Donald Trump is doing. That he's doing all this stupid stuff just for, you know, clout shit. Hey, look at me. I'm Mr. Trump. You can't touch me. You can't approach me. I have so much power. I'm untouchable. I mean, he he would think that, right? Yeah, you know, I, I mean, he's too clouded up. He's not even going to care. And second, um, second, he doesn't even know how to use his head right. Being that he doesn't even know how to answer questions properly. Well, I'm pretty sure the media could ask him, how was your phone call with, uh, how was your phone call with Fox and Friends? Like, like, how would you describe your phone call? Why, why did you go off the deep end on Fox, Fox and Friends and that stuff? And he'd probably say something stupid like, what you would expect when he, um, when he gave the answer to the media about how would you describe your conversation and phone call with Ukraine? He would probably be saying something stupid like the conversation that I've had with Fox and Friends it was a perfect conversation. The conversation that I've had with Fox and Friends was very perfect. There was nothing wrong. I did not even go off the deep end with these guys. It was a perfect conversation. Like, you expect him to come up with, like, some stupid comment like that, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, look at our idiot president. He's not... His head's not even, um, screwed on right. Or doesn't use his brain to think. Like. Like. I've seen how Donald Trump is. I've seen how he doesn't use his head to think about anything. Yeah, heck, he even, uh. He wanted to. He actually wanted to, he actually wanted to put tariffs that people would start paying for. Like, you know, U.S. farmers, U.S. farmers in China, you know, all that stuff. Like, literally, when you start trying to have a, 
when you have a command that the president demands that you start paying tariffs for, you know, just about a little bit of everything and that stuff, it just ruins the economic, well, it ruins the economy, I should say. Because without, without money, because we're supposed to be paying, like, all these tariffs and that stuff, like, how, how is a city or a country supposed to be making money here? That's, that's not helping the economy grow, that's ruining the economy right there. Anyway, back to, uh, back to, um, Dr. Phil. So, the, uh, girl that is on Dr. Phil, which I would say would probably be about a man that probably just died, that just probably cut his hair, or probably wears a wig that is supposed to look like a girl's uh, pigtails or something like that. And the guy has his uh, eye eyebrows or eyelashes dyed has light blue dye or eyebrow color Something like that. So, he gets, she gets up to, uh, Dr. Phil, which I should also mention that the man was probably transgender as well, so that would explain it too. So, the woman had a dream of, you know, making and uploading more viral videos. To be a lot more famous. And that's all the woman cares about. She just cares about making viral videos. And if she goes to uh, jail for, you know, uploading more viral videos and that stuff that, you know, she, uh, that she wants to, you know, create or make herself, uh, she doesn't even... Uh, she doesn't even care about if I could be going to jail for, you know, doing something that would get me that clout that I so desperately want. I've, the person probably thinking up there that I want to upload more viral videos so that I can get more views. Get so clouded up on. YouTube. That I start on making millions and millions of dollars. Because I want to do the most outlawful thing. That will get me those views. And will help me start making. A lot of cash. Like. I say if you got yourself like millions of views on YouTube, I could probably say you'll be making a lot of pile of cash that way. But like I said, when you make it when you go and you try doing something viral and a video and that stuff. The next thing you do, the next thing that's going to happen is you're going to get the cops called on you. <coughs> and believe me, it won't be pretty once you start having your head labeled as an outlaw now. And then, who knows? The, um, the, um, the more of the store that you can actually destroy and that stuff will depend on... How long you spend your life in jail or prison? But yeah, you're so clouded up that you just wouldn't even care to actually 
you know, think twice before you start going disrespecting stores, graveyards, or anything else for clout. So, um, this is the video today, guys. So, I encourage you to think about, well, think of, think 10 seconds or so before you actually go and decide to do something so, um, disrespectful for clout, like, right. Or go and wreck the store and destroy stores, or you no, know, go do something so stupid for clout. Because you need to ask yourself this. You need to ask yourself this question first: Is whatever I'm doing to get clout in a most in the most disrespectful way or outlawed way? Is it going to get me arrested? Is it going to get me sent into, put into jail? Or prison? Am I going to live the rest of my life as an outlaw? Because I don't want to do that. I, I don't want to be the... I don't want to be the loser that... You know, goes into stores... And starts wrecking the shelves... Or goes to graveyard... And start respect disrespecting them for clout. Which, I don't know how you could get arrested for disrespecting graveyards for clout. I mean, I've never even experienced what it was like for... Um... Disrespecting graveyards for clout. I never would I want to do that. Because I'm pretty sure it has a bigger consequence than... That. Or. Okay, I'm going to say the way how I like clout. Or how I would actually want clout. So I have a video on YouTube. It was titled Employed in Full Version. Now, I have over 300 views on that. Alright, that's enough for me to actually be okay with it. Because I've got myself some famous views for that video. And it's enough for me to actually live with... If that video is the most famous video that I have on there... And that I've had over 300 people watching that and that stuff. That's enough clout for me. That's enough clout for me. Alright, it wasn't something that I... It wasn't a video that I made that was viral. That gone out of control. That stuff. I didn't do something really that stupid to... Actually get myself arrested. Just for clout. I mean, I didn't do something that stupid. Where I actually go and in reality. Like destroy stores. And. You know, just go. Just go crazy. I have myself a good time. Well, I would think twice before I go and do something stupid like that. I've... I've got to be honest. With you. I don't ever want to end up like... I don't ever want to end up like those people that they go off, they get themselves so clouded up that they don't even think ahead of themselves about what's going to happen if I start wrecking 
the stores or robbing banks or, you know, just go and, you know, and shoot the whole school up or I go bombing a marathon or do stupid stuff like that. I think twice about that and so should you. Anyway, guys, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll think twice before you start, um, before you start trying to get clout in viral ways through viral videos or in disrespectful manners. Instead, focus on trying to get clout for, you know, like, game streaming and that stuff. Alright, do something that's legal, like, you know, making great le replays and that stuff. Like, do something that's not going to get you arrested. If you want the fame, then don't go and do stuff. Don't go out and do illegal stuff. Because I can guarantee you, you try getting clout that way, you're going to get arrested. Anyway. Hope that all of you enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned lessons about what I've just said. And I will see you all in the next video. This is Charles Morse. Thinking twice before I actually go and do final stuff for clout. Have a good day. I will see you all later.